family and welcome to today's video thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me I love and appreciate you all so today uh, in our Universal Law series we are talking about the law of inspired actions okay yes and all the birds roosters everybody's chiming in the wind chimes going right I love it okay the, the exclamation the proclamation the excitement and the air all right, because I want you to hear the verbiage. It's not the law of action, okay? It's the law of inspired action. You have to be inspired and move in that energy, have a deep enthusiasm with it, okay? Because thinking and feeling and visualizing, knowing that you can be the vibration, right? The energetic match, those are all actions. All right, you're, you're moving in it. But to be inspired, to ha have you ever been inspired to do something where you're just like, I have to do this like right now, I feel it, I gotta go, right? It's like your butt's on fire, your feet's on fire, okay? The word enthusiasm comes from a Greek word, because you know, the English language is not our language, right? Shout out to my husband, always was telling me that, right? He was like, the English language is just a whole bunch of words pulled from other languages, right? That's why it spells. It's all conjoined and set and matched with a certain vibration. <coughs> Excuse me. With a certain vibration. So knowing what these words mean will help you use them in the correct context. That's why words matter, okay? That's why words matter. So, inspired, having enthusiasm, comes from a Greek word, meaning to be possessed by God. Okay? You ever seen people that are possessed? <laughs> Not demon possessed, but like they have the Holy Spirit. They have that energy. They're, they're moving. They're acting unnatural. Okay? Not of this world. So to have inspired action means that you are putting this high energy and you are transmuting it into a physical form because it's not just a mental action. You have to physically do it. We live on a physical plane. That's why nothing can reside here or move here on earth without this avatar, without this body, without this solid because this is how <coughs> you live in this atmosphere. So moving in the inspired, in inspired action, putting this physical stamp on it, executing it with your avatar will help bring the thing that you are desiring that much closer to you in that much more of a meaningful way. <clears throat> so, the same analogy I had with making my tea. I can smell my tea. I can taste it, right, because I drink it all the time, so I know all these things. So I can recall the taste, I can recall the smell, I can recall how hot it is, right? I can see the tea kettle boiling on my stove, but if I didn't actually get up and go physically make that happen, it's not getting done, okay? So that's why I said yesterday with the law of attraction, it's all interwoven together because you can try to attract something you want, all you want you can try to track things that you desire all you want but unless you physically go put yourself into the situation or into the environment in which those things can execute more than likely you will not see it come to fruition so in order to apply this divine law in your everyday life get up and move be inspired I had the desire to do this series a lot for a while and mold around in my brain for a while and I was able to find reasons valid very valid reasons on why not to get it done but it wasn't until I had some accountability all right I had to say it and make it real right I had to verbalize it I had to share it we'll talk about that more later because <laughs> you're not supposed to share everything with everyone but I shared it, then I saw it, then I had to feel it happening, and then I was inspired 
and I recorded bum 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 bum. It was no issue finding time to record and get things done. It was inspired action. The editing, when I came through and said, okay, well, I'm going to add this, but not too much of this. This is how I want to deliver the message. Here we go. I've sat and written out points that I want to make sure I make for every video. That's inspired action. And I was able to do it with no qualm. There was no conflict, no uh, schedule conflictions. Baby was on point. Children were on point. I didn't feel bored or overwhelmed. I didn't feel guilty because I was just sitting there in my own thoughts and not moving and doing something else. I moved in inspired action to get it done. I was able to execute the vision and attract those who can benefit from this series. I planted the seed so it can be woven and nourished and grown, just giving it time to do so. But my inspired action is what helped get it out. So if you want to see anything happen in your life, you have to get up and go make it happen with a blind belief and faith that you have done enough to have it come to fruition in a way that would be the most beneficial to you. You can't wish and will yourself into your car. You have to actually get up and walk out and do it. That's a lot. That's a lot of the process, actually. Because again, we're on this physical plane where you have to have physical interaction. You have to have a physical action, a company, everything else. If you really want to put your stamp and see it here in this reality. Before my husband built up our backyard, before he dug this pit, I'm about, I don't know how far down he dug, maybe three feet or four feet down. He saw it in his mind's eye, but it wasn't going to dig itself. He had to get down and put the action in. And what it left us with is a beautiful fire pit. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait until our seasons really change here in Florida. And I can have those autumn breezes and light my fire and sit back here and chill. I'm really looking forward to those actions. <laughs> But that's how you get things done in, the, in this physical plane. You have to put physical action to those thoughts and feelings and desires that you have. That's why everything is connected. Okay? Okay. I think that's, that's as simple as I can get it, right? I don't need to go too, dark, too far deep because we want to get this information in. We want to digest it and apply it and start to put it into action in our lives right now at the speed of instruction. That's how you get inspired. You hear the instruction and you move. And I love that. I love moving at the speed of instruction. Okay, wealthy family, that's all that I have for you today. I will see you all tomorrow for our next installment. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love.